presentation. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But it start. But for me, it started at that moment, and then I was like, you know, I wanted to get out of that space and make it more positive. That's what's up. And, and, and not not go down that path, whatever. So what if I said, hey man, I I, I like your eye. I got a hundred grand. I need you on this shoot. No, I would I would turn it down. I, I mean, I would. Two hundred fifty. Yeah, okay. it, it would it would hurt, you know, it would really hurt, but I wouldn't do it. Yeah. I, I mean, I was like, it's too much of that out there. You've drawn your line yeah. in the sand, right? Yeah. Right, and 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 more of us uh, have to be willing to challenge uh, our morality and our ethics uh, because at some point, what you are measuring is my ability to consume. Right? What do you think I mean by that, Christian? By ability to consume, um, what comes to my mind is um, the perception of how others see us. So maybe thinking of concepts or human um, interactions that are generally accepted by others. Okay. Somebody build on that. Tell me your name. Ola? Yeah. O L A? Yeah. Okay. What is that short for? Uh, so it's longer than that. It's actually Ola Loa. So I just go by Ola. Is that Nigerian? Yeah. Okay. So what's your thought? Um, On this idea of when we make decisions uh, about not to take the money, right? Get your bag on, right? When you make that decision, and it, as it relates to your ability to consume what do you think i'm talking about well that's that's the way you use the data you get in uh for me i don't think it's about the money in the relationship because i wouldn't care about that it's about how it's going to impact someone else well yes but also how it's going to affect you right because none of us wake up every day uh or any day and say that you know what i'm just going to live this life I don't really care about whether or not I'm going to have a roof over my head or I'm going to be able to drive a reliable whip, let alone a fancy whip. Uh, you know, I don't really care about whether or not my, my shoes have uh, holes in them or if I can get my, my eyebrows threaded or, uh, you know, you just go on down the list of what we as individuals decide makes us comfortable and happy. Right? So that's our own individual consumption choices. Do I buy my groceries at Whole Foods or do I buy my groceries at Giant? Do I take the bus or do I get chauffeur driven limousine? And throughout your life, you make decisions about what kind of individual consumer you want to be. And based off of that value construct, it really informs what you decide to shoot. Does that, make sense? Does that make sense? And oftentimes, you can be sitting and you can be looking at the media that is in front of us. And raise your hand if you ever said to yourself, what made them do that? What, 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 how irresponsible was that? Somebody that was involved with the production and the promotion of that content that made you grimace made some decisions. Ah, oh, shit, this don't affect me, right? I'm getting paid. And that's gonna be something that you always have to grapple with. Because at some point, five, okay, at some point, that's where you are in the continuum. Do you, can you, should you make decisions about your own consumption patterns that affects others? Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah? So what kind of decisions have you made that put you somewhere on that continuum? Where decisions I made, where I thought about like if it will affect others or not. Um, uh, 
I guess one was uh, the decision to transfer to I used to go to Ohio State and as out of out of uh, state tuition, so I had to make the decision to transfer to a school back in Maryland because it would be easier on my mother trying to help pay for the tuition and stuff. It would be a lot cheaper to go in state, so that's I guess that's the most the biggest one that I can think of. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's a big one. That's a big one, right? And we're all faced with that kind of decision. Like, where do I uh, get my content that is going to allow me to pursue my goals? And who's my community of others that's helping me do that? And am I doing that in a way that is uh, completely selfish, right? Uh, or am I doing it in a way that uh, will still allow me to pursue my, my dreams, uh, but do so in a way that's not causing uh, are all kinds of pain uh, for for others, right. right? That's a real that's a real consumption decision. Yeah. Yeah. So, in the three minutes that we have left, uh, what questions do you have? Yes, sir. I have a, a question about what you were just talking about. So, I believe there is extraordinary power in the ability to communicate effectively. Worldwide power, and now I wonder, based on all these ethical decisions that every individual has to make, whether we should even be exploring a class like social media production, because with the right tools and the right ability to to research, any of these students can have a huge impact on the world, and that impact could be positive, but it could also be negative. We just look at the the tweet where he was coming at some woman for her decision. And 12,000 people tweeted back at him. And so. We amplify that to 120,000 people. It's a statement that has lots of, of implications, right? And there's not enough time to unpack uh, all of that. Uh, I will invite you. Who's been to the African American uh, History Museum? Who's been to the African American History Museum? Anybody from the not University yet. of Michigan? Not yet. Right? Uh, okay, so you are going. You do know this place exists yes. and it's yes. free. Yes. Right? Yes. All right, and who's been to the American uh, History Museum down on the mall? Right? And so I had a chance to visit in the last couple of days both of those places. Um, and you got to go, right? Uh, because it, as you go through the exhibit halls and you go through and you read, particularly on the second level in the American History Museum, there's this whole piece about voting. Um, and American democracy. This, how did we get to be the country that we are has a lot to do with how we have messaged to its citizenry, including our current situation, right? And how we will get out of this current situation will have a lot to do with how we message to our citizenry through all of our channels, right? Because one of the things that has happened uh, in terms of technological advancement is that we have a less controlled press. And if you go back and if you, and you uh, 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 look at the history of the recorded word, one of the things that they were most concerned with was how do we control this? Because if now, you can read your Bible on your own. You don't have to come to church and have it interpreted for you and told how you should behave. Fast forward, now if you can challenge all of the political ideas as it relates to democracy and society or other proposed forms of how people should be governed, I got a lot more work to do to, dare I say, control you, right? And so there is one of the wonderful things about living in the District of Columbia uh, and the surrounding areas that you have access, right, to all of these uh, public presentations of this kind of content and the history of it. And so I encourage you, I implore you, I beg you to go consume it. Uh, as individuals who are on pathways uh, to education for the purpose of doing something better, not only for yourselves, but better for the world, uh, that you have to be informed, right? And this is a big question. 
this is a big question. Like, what does, what role, we already know, right, uh, that uh, artificial intelligence is driving stuff through these, these systems, right? Right into your home, right into your hand. Oh, sh okay, the Russian said X, right? But we think the Russian said X. We don't know. And so not only do these platforms, but the fact that there is open access right into your brain, right into your eyeballs, uh, should be of grave concern. Because just like the noise that's out there that is alarming to us, you have an opportunity to combat that with the right kinds of content, the right kinds of images. So, yeah, thank you guys, I appreciate it. Pleasure to meet you. Good luck. Absolutely. Nice to meet you. Thanks, brother. Yeah. Welcome home. Yeah. You never have to go back to that state again. Uh, Ohio's a wonderful place. No, Ohio's trash. <laughs> <laughs> so